guys uh, welcome back to my channel welcome back to learn in a nutshell so in the previous video we you know uh, did our first program with function app azure function app so in this video we'll see uh, uh, how to run uh, the programs or how to write uh, you know programs in uh, vs code and deploy it to function app so let's quickly see that so for that we need vs code let's open that So this is a snippet from my SendGrid code. Let me open a new window. And uh, let me go to open folder. So now let's go to projects here. Let me create a new folder called uh, um, maybe Azure. Yeah, Azure will be fine. Let me open this, select this folder for this window. So let me click on yes, I trust the order so project uh, so we have created a new folder now the next thing which we need uh, is all the uh, extensions for function app so let's do that let's go to extensions and search for azure so there is something called as azure tools just install it will install everything uh, you no know, that is required for azure portal So one after the other, everything will get installed. The thing which are looking for is Azure functions. So let this get completed. So once installed, uh, you should see a new icon coming up here called Azure. Here, the first thing which we need to do is sign in to our account. Just click on sign in to Azure. It will open up a new tab where you need to con you know authenticate so this is my account yt1 where i have the free access so this is done i can go back to vs code so you can see a subscription called free trial under this free trial you can see all the function apps that's available so next thing what we'll do is uh, write a program so once all the extensions is installed and uh, once you have logged in um, you can go back to explorer click f1 on windows uh, if we're not sure what's equivalent in mac uh, you can uh, google it and search uh, for the same you can search for uh, create function so once you search for create function you should see something like this azure functions create functions so click on this uh, we'll select uh, same folder we'll select javascript there are two options model v4 or model v3 again if you want you can see the difference uh, here so the slight difference in the structure this is how the structure will look like in v4 so the in the previous video we had this structure v3 structure uh, so we'll use v3 itself for this one so click on v3 and what kind of trigger you want you can just uh, select that i'll choose http trigger as of now uh, just give a name i'll give it as demo2 and uh, press enter and let's keep function as it is and uh, so once everything goes well then you should start seeing a folder called demo2 and all the necessary files so package.json is the one which will initialize it as a node.js project you can add all the npm uh, all the dependencies whichever is required for your project here and uh, in index.js is the same structure which we saw in the last video so what we'll do is let's deploy this as it is uh, you know without making any change and uh, 
so yeah let's uh, deploy it as it is uh, so before that let's see what are the other files related to one is package.json where you can give all the uh, you know uh, required uh, dependencies you can install it uh, so local.settings.json is the configuration application settings so you can uh, write down all your environment variables here directly uh, just like env file this will be treated as next thing is function.json this is where it will um, you know all the details related to your trigger will be mentioned so it's a http trigger and the what is the output uh, supposed to be like it's a http output again uh, so we'll see more about this in the later videos and you can mention what are the files that needs to be ignored uh, in uh, funk ignore all the settings all those things will be ignored and also let me quickly show one environment variable let me write it as uh, uh, let me write it as env itself and give the value as prod and um, uh, let's and yeah just uh, to make uh, life easier just uh, enable auto save just in case you don't want to you know miss out any file being deployed so whenever after typing some uh, something it will be auto saved uh, rather than you don't have to click control s yes every time so next thing is um let's see if we can uh, print the environment variable directly or will this require a dot env file so process dot env dot env so this is the name which you have given now what we'll do is we'll directly uh, deploy it um, so we'll go to um, azure right click on this so if you remember we have created one function app there uh, right click on that click on deploy function app uh, deploy to function app so what whatever is there in this particular folder will be deployed as is uh, so it requires a storage account you can uh, name uh, as a demo storage name must storage account name is already taken so let's see if you can use an existing storage and let's give something like this hopefully this should So demo first run we are just giving it as uh, we'll keep uh, the resource group which have created earlier demo rg and uh, it's creating the storage account if you see on the bottom right so it will take some time um to deploy this to function app so you don't have to worry about any dependencies dependencies again it will be installed uh, you know when it's getting deployed to function app so, so it's uh, it's asking me are you sure you want to deploy to first run just click deploy and there should be a terminal you know popping up and it will uh, do all the tasks it will install all the dependencies that is required which is there in the package.json and uh, you should start seeing deploying first run so if you go to uh, azure portal let's go to that function app which i had created click on functions so there is hello world as of now so now we should see demo 2 coming up so deployment is completed and you are seeing demo 2 over here so all you uh, know all the files uh, has is uh, which you have uh, you know uh, developed in your local so this is what uh, is there you know and you can see process.env uh, coming up here let's quickly see if we can um, 
uh, you know uh, see that env file coming up uh, before that we need to upload the uh, you know local env file to application settings so right click and click upload local settings so whatever is they there in local dot settings will be uploaded so it's successfully uploaded now let's quickly run and see if it requires dot env file uh, we don't have to pass anything so it says pass name so let's pass the name so let's keep it in file system logs and let's give learn in a nutshell and click on run so if you see here uh, the prod is coming you don't have to explicitly install dot env you know library as well so it will pick it up so env whatever we passed in uh, local dot settings has also come up here so after you you know write down all the local settings uh, it's best practice to upload it to your application settings and um, yeah so that's about it um, so that was a quick video guys on how to run uh, you know your function app how to deploy your function app from uh, vs code hope it was useful uh, uh, let me know if it was useful in the comment section if you liked it please do the like button subscribe comment and uh, in the next video let's see how to run this function app uh, locally uh, in vs code itself so let's catch again in the next video until then see you